Hey, what's up everyone? Well, I just recently got an email on the FabricationSeries.com website from a guy named Mike out in Tennessee who writes, Hey Fabricator, I love the series. Thanks for taking the time to make all of these episodes. I'm currently working on my wastegate dump tube and I'm having a hard time getting everything lined up where I think it should be. Is there any way you can put together an episode showing how you do it? Yeah, Mike, I got you. This is a perfect opportunity for a TFS Fast Fab video, a full length quick fix or modification in less than five minutes. Let's get on it. I almost had to speed up my intro, but here we go. Got the everything all assembled here, and of course you can see where the dump tube needs to go. So what we're gonna do is take a 180 degree piece of stainless steel. It's a mandrel bend, inch and three quarter diameter. I always use mandrels on everything. Just gonna stick it in the saw. Now I'm just kind of winging this angle here. So, uh, you know, nothing really specific or particular, but all I really wanna do is aim for that turbine housing because we're gonna make it hug uh, kind of down alongside the dump pipe and the, uh, the down pipe and all the rest of that stuff from the turbo. So. I'm going to get a rough cut to length here, and we're going to kind of set it up in place here. Now, I notice I've gloved up, got all my uh, gear on here, and we're going to drop down a tack weld on here. Now, uh, look carefully. I actually missed, and I'm not ashamed to say that because this is an awkward situation, and sometimes you don't get it right on the first try. So, this is kind of a temporary workstation that I'm setting up right here. You just clamp it to the car, make sure you don't scratch it, put a rag underneath, you know. Works out fantastic. You don't have to go back. Now I'm going to butt these two up uh, parallel or in line right next to each other so I can get a kind of a rough cut guess on this angle here. I'm going to stick it in the saw and chop that down. Now you can kind of see where we're going with this one, but it's just a little bit too long yet. We've got to actually hold this up here, get a kind of a general idea of about where I need to cut it once again. We'll get that cut down to length, and after I've done that I'm going to go ahead and tack it back on here once again. As soon as that tack is done, we're going to take it off, set up our temporary workstation again. Now this is just fantastic because you don't have to go back and forth between a table and everything, movie clamps, pedals, all that stuff. So just, you know, make sure you don't scratch it. Now, even at four times the speed, it still takes forever to lift up a car. But we're underneath now, and we have to go around the starter. We don't want to blow a bunch of hot air into the starter. I mean, that's just inviting disaster, really. So the piece that we do have left is just the right angle, and we're going to tack it on there. Now, here's the thing. Uh, still, even at that angle, I, I still like to not blow it right at the starter. It still takes some chance, so we're going to... Uh, divert it around the starter as much as possible and I'm gonna make this big old giant baloney cut here and as soon as I get this all cut up and set up here you can see where it goes now the reason for the angle on it is so that it doesn't come in contact with the ground or the uh, actual uh, curb or anything like that it actually stays tucked up beneath the uh, subframe and the cross member so to purge all of this since it is stainless we have to do all of that I'm gonna set it up with the foil here and I'm gonna show you guys a really neat little trick which I drill a hole in the bottom of my table here and I feed my uh, argon line for the purge and I just set the workpiece over top of it. Now this is great for doing stuff like flanges and whatnot. And if you wanted to do the entire workpiece, uh, you know, in this fashion, you absolutely can. I usually just use it for, uh, you know, just flanges and whatnot. Also made the switch to my number 12 Fupa cup, made by Furic. Really awesome cup. I love it for doing stainless and titanium. But we'll get this all clamped on here. Um, notice a kind of a neat little trick here with the uh, with it being clamped down there. It actually becomes a nice little rest for my hand, so I can get some really nice tight welds on there. So. As soon as this is all done, uh, I let it cool down a little bit, and we're gonna. Uh, I like to actually have a lot more workability with it than keeping it vertical. So we're gonna feed our argon line in there. That's PET tape, and we're gonna start welding. Now, short little dabs. Uh, make sure that your your coverage is good, of course. You know, stainless. You got to work pretty quick. Uh, to set up the workpiece, I like to use these aluminum blocks. They work out exceptionally well. I have you know stacks of them all over the place. It helps get the work in the right position, so you can weld it and you can be comfortable while you're welding it. So. As soon as we get all of this finished up here, that's where we get to the awesome part where you get to double check. Look at that full penetration. Really awesome when that happens. So after it's all cooled up, we'll get it right back onto the car here. And of course we can check our fit, make sure everything's good to go, and if we need to make any modifications we can. But pretty much there's the entire way um, how to build a wastegate dump tube. Pretty simple. Now, if you want to see more episodes in less than five minutes, go ahead and check out the hashtag TFSFastFab. Every single time one of those uploads, you'll find it as long as you know how to search. I want to thank you guys for watching as always. Don't forget to subscribe to the Fabrication Series YouTube channel for more really awesome content, and I will see you guys on the next episode. 
And by the way, okay, hold on a minute. <laughs> The rest of the episodes are coming up that are not fast fab and that are full length with turbo manifold, the boost fab, all the rest of that good stuff. So sit tight, they're coming. Thanks.